All right, you are welcome to today's uh, class. So, service area of a cone. So, that's what we'll be looking at now. The, the objectives are firstly, we're going to find the curved surface area of a cone. After that, we we'll look at the total surface area of a cone. So, let's start with uh, the overview of a cone. A cone is a special pyramid with a circular base. So here, uh, is this supposed to be a circle? Sorry for that. For this, so it has a circular base and a curved surface and the apex. So it is a pyramid, just like we have a deep end, uh, pyramid. So next stage. So it is made up of a curved surface and a circular face. So the bottom is in form of a circle, while the other part is in form of what? A sector. We get there right now. Now, if you look at this part here, the upper part, which from the curved surface is a sector, while the lower part, the bottom, is a circle. So area of a sector is pi r l. By RL, while L is the, the slant height. So, the, this simple explanation of this area of the curved surface is by RL, where L means slant height of the cone. If you go back to this place, this is the slant height. This place, this is the vertical height. Sorry, this is the vertical height here, and this is the slant height. So for the sector, L here is the slant height. Pi is pi, the R is the radius of the circular base of the cone. So the total surface area of a cone will then be area of sector plus area of circle. So area of the sector of the circular face plus area of the curved surface, which is the area of the sector. That is pi R squared plus pi R L. So by the time you factor out by R, you have by R into brackets, R plus L. So that is the total surface area of a cone. The curve surface area is by R L, while the total surface area is by R squared plus by R L. So let's look at example. So a cone has a height of 12 centimeters and a cross section diameter of 32 centimeters calculate a the slant height of the cone b the curved surface area of the cone and the c the total surface area of the cone so we have three in one questions here in three in one question rather sorry so solution a so by the time you draw the cone this is the cone so we have the vertical height to be 12 centimeters the diameter is 32 centimeters now this vertical height and the radius we form a right angle triangle so this is 12 by the time you divide the diameter into two you get the radius to be 16 that's what we have here so we're going to adopt pythagoras theorem to solve this so which is l square equals opposite square plus adjacent square that's 144 plus 256 when you add the two together you get 400 so square root of 400 this was 20. So therefore, the slant height of the cone is what 20 centimeters because you cannot get so okay, good. We asked to find the slant height. That's how to find the slant height. We're still going to make use of the slant height to get the curve surface area of the cone. So when you go to B now, the curve surface area of the cone, so which is by R L 22 divided by 7 times 16, which is the radius. Multiply by the L, which is 20, the value we just got now. When you multiply 22 times 16 times 20, that gives 7040 divided by 7. We have this centimeters squared. So you must have it in square because it's area. It's in area. That is solution to B. Solution to C, right? The total surface area of the cone, which is by R squared plus by R L. So the pi 
gives us 22 divided by 7. Radius is 16 squared. Don't forget that pi RL, which is the curved surface area, already calculated that. And that is 1005.7 centimeters squared. So you just had it. There's no way to write this one. If you do, you still get the same answer. So here we have this, and then we multiply this. At the end of the day, we have uh, our answer to 1810.3 centimeters squared. So that is how to calculate uh, the curve surface area of a cone and the total surface area of a cone. Then we move to let's look at you solve this question. You solve this question. Calculate the total surface area of a cone with diameter 5 centimeters and a vertical height of 4 centimeters. Let me just explain this. You are looking for total surface area of the cone with diameter 5 centimeters and vertical height. This is not slant height. So, meaning that you are going to calculate the slant height first before you can calculate the total surface area. So without this slant height, you cannot get the answer. So you are not going to make use of four centimeters as your slant height, as your L. So that's the reason why you need to calculate it. And I've shown you how you're going to do that. So uh, we move on to the next uh, stage, which is another example. Let's cut another example. So we have this example. So the curved surface area of a right cone is 154 centimeters. The diameter of the cross section of the cone is 5 centimeters. Calculate the slant height of the cone. B. Calculate the vertical height of the cone. So you can see this is quite different from the first example that we did. In this case, we are given the volume, the, the area of the cone, the curved surface area of the cone, curved surface area of the cone. Yeah, and you are given. Uh, the diameter of the cone. So we are now looking for the slant height, and we are also looking for the vertical height of the cone. So let's see how we go about that. Now, <clears throat> firstly, the curve surface area of the cone is what pi r l. The l is the slant height, but so where r is five over two because what you're given is the diameter. So divided by two to get the radius, then so coming with the formula, you have been given the area to be 154 centimeters squared, then pi, which is 22, times the radius, which is 5 over 2, uh, times the slant i, which is L. So by the time you multiply this together, you get 22 times 5 gives 110 L divided by 14 equals to 154. So what you are going to do, multiply both sides by 14 so that you can cancel the LCM here. So once you do that, this 14 will cancel this 14. So you then have 110 L. When you multiply this, this gives you a 2,156. So the next is you divide both sides by 110 so that you can make L the subject of formula. So therefore, when you divide that, 2,156 divided by 110 will give us 19.6 centimeters you can see that i did not put square here because it is the side slant height not the area so that's the value for the first one so the second part so approximately it's going to be 20 centimeters now solution to b now we have the diameter and we have the slant height we are looking for the vertical height which is h so we can get the radius here so which is 2.5 when you divide 5 by 2 you have 2.5 here then you find h so i hope I'm making sense so using pythagoras rule as well so h square which is the height which is the height here will be the hypotenuse square which is 20 squared minus adjacent which is 2.5 squared so that is high squared 400 minus 6.5 6.25 you have 393.75 so you find the square root of both sides you have this then you approximately have 20 centimeters and therefore the vertical height of the cone is what 20 centimeters so 
I think this that's the end of that thing. This is your another task you're going to do. So the total surface area of a cone is five hundred and sixty-five point seven one centimeters square. The radius of the circular hand is ten centimeters. Calculate the slant height of the cone. So you can do this one as well. Um, so I think let's stop at that. Let's stop at task two. So that's the end of this uh, short video. So thank you very much.